Bonjour tout le monde, and today I will be doing a get ready with me. And this was St. Patrick's Day, so this is the makeup I wore on that day. And I already did my eyebrows, so there you go. And after putting my Urban Decay Fair Neutral Concealer on my lids, as I usually do to prime it, I am setting my concealer with the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette in the shade Brown, putting that all over my eyelid as one usually does. And at this very moment, I got a text from my sister saying that she had to work so she couldn't come to the city and hang out with me for St. Patrick's Day. So I had no plans and I was going to be stuck inside the house all day. It was lit. I mean, I did end up going out with a friend because I was like not about to stay inside on St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, here I'm moving on and multitasking as my aunt called me for the billionth fucking time because she just always seems to just know when I'm doing my makeup to call me. Of course. And so here I'm just using the shade Suede in the Metal Matte Palette and using that as a transition shade. Yeah, every time I go to her house, she just cannot stop calling me. Like she's literally in the other room and I'm in the dining room doing my makeup because that's where the window is and that's where the best lighting is. And she just literally calls me every two minutes. You know how irritating that is? Especially if you're like me and you don't like being interrupted when you're doing your makeup. Yep, it's really nice. And now I'm going over top of that transition shade with the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette in the shade Mean to give it more of a green shift because I'm doing like a green smoky eye as you guys saw in the thumbnail. And I'm just putting a bit, like I'm not going ham on that green shade yet. And now I'm using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette again and using the Moss shade and putting that literally all over the lid. Like it's, it's gonna go everywhere. And that's, that's all I did is put the Moss shade all over both of my eyelids. And here I'm just packing on more colors so it's more green. And of course, blending it out unless you want it to be harsh as fuck and look like you're in middle school. And here I was using the Morphe B80 brush and putting the suede shade on it. Oh, that rhymes. Huh? And then blending it out more because I needed it to be a little bit more cohesive. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then blending it out. blended and of course doing the same thing to the other eye I was just reading yet another CNN notification about some dumb shit Trump did so nothing new But anyway, I'm packing more of that moss shade back onto my lid since I clearly lost the pigment when I was blending. I'm just going back and forth between the 224 and the moss shade. And then here using Mean again and using that to blend even more so. Yeah, and here I'm cleaning up my fallout and I'll be going in with the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Eyeliner in Kush and doing a wing. And here I am doing that. So you know how I mentioned earlier that my aunt kept calling me? Well in a few seconds, this will be her calling me for legitimately the fourth fucking time and if you want to piss me off, interrupt me while I'm doing my eyeliner. Yeah. You know, I just, I love talking to her so much. Like it brings me so much joy, really. Hello darkness, my old friend. I just love it so much when I'm interrupted in the middle of doing my makeup and doing my eyeliner that requires so much focus to just talk to her and, you know, have a conversation where she just talks at me for 20 minutes while I listen with a huge smile on my face. 
I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping I mean, it's just the highlight of my day, more so than drinking coffee or listening to music. I just, I love not being able to do anything because she keeps talking to me. It's, it's a wonderful thing, really. Okay. Yeah, talking to her is always such a joy. Anyway, here I am finally resuming my eyeliner after fucking 20 minutes. Yep, yeah, and that's what I'm doing. And in case you're slightly, uh, lentement when it comes to sarcasm, can't pick it up too well, that was sarcasm. Fucking hate talking to her. I mean, okay, I don't hate talking to her, but it's like, when I'm in the middle of doing something, it's fucking irritating. Uh, yep, yeah, back to makeup. All right. And voila, the wings are done. I'm being weird as fuck as per usual. And now I'll be using my Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara and doing my lashes. Don't and of course, my lip singing interludes. And you know, that's just the cherry on top of a spectacular day. Thank you. You know, I feel like those three clips of me lip singing were just the different sides of my personality. Relatively normal, cutesy, and just fucking weird. Anyway, here I'm just using my Peter Thomas Roth Cloud Cream Moisturizer uh, shit and moisturizing my face. And then now I'll be using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer and, you know, putting it uh, on my face. And here I'm using my Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in N0, putting it on my face and blending it out. And yes, you can still see breakouts and shit, but I don't really care to cover them all too much. If anything, it makes my foundation look more natural anyway, so whatever. And then of course use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral and conceal in some shits and all that. And of course, using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and shedding my under eye and breakouts the tip of my nose underneath my nose because around my nostrils is where my makeup creases the most. So that's why I said it and my smile lines. And then now I'll be going back in with my Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette in the shade Moss and putting that all over the lower lash line. and then blending the shade Suede into Moss. And then of course you wanna sweep that shit off your face, otherwise you look fucking crazy. Ain't nothing wrong with looking crazy, just saying. And then going back in with my Tarte Mascara, if I can fucking open it, doing my lower lash line.
and let's uh, bronze up my paleness using the Milani powder foundation in natural tan. I am so in love with that song. Anyway, I'm using my Makeup Geek Contour Powder and Breakup, and as I usually do, chiseling my face. And then I'm using my L'Oreal True Match, some type of powder in W1. I'll put the proper name in the description, but honestly, I am much too lazy to get up and find it and tell you the actual name. Yeah, and I'm just cleaning up my contour because we don't want that shit to be all over the place because then it won't be a contour. And I almost forgot to contour my nose and we all know I need that, so that's what I'm doing. And then using that same powder and uh, shedding my under eyes, even though I don't need to, but I'm just like doing it because. Just give my daily dose of Aaliyah, you know, and being weird as fuck. And so here I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in Prenup. Oh, all right, bitch, you can calm down. And rouging my cheeks, the tip of my nose, and my chin. And then I'm using a flat shader brush and moss and using that as like a waterline color and warning the eyeshadow is a loose pigment. It's gonna get in your fucking eyeball. So that's why I'm blinking like a madman, but it's fine. It'll go away eventually. And you shouldn't damage your eye, but no promises. Ta-da! And my favorite part, I'll be using the ColourPop highlighter in Paraloon and highlighting my face. Yes, very nice. I feel like I've been using this highlighter a lot recently, but then again, I've been doing a lot of green looks lately, which I haven't planned. I'm using a small er brush and highlighting my brow bones and my inner corner with that same highlight. And I also went in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Ophelia, but I didn't show that because I forgot. And of course, white girl's gotta have her Starbucks. And then once I can fucking open that, since I've been having an issue opening shit in this video apparently, I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed, and I didn't annoy you, but I probably did, in which case, cool. Alright, people, thanks for watching. Bye!